Hello, I'm Robin Worley, welcome to Lenscraft. Recently, Alien Skin launched Exposure X4. I thought this was a good opportunity to answer a question that's been asked a few times, and that's, what's a good workflow to use in Exposure? Usually when I produce these videos, I start with the image in Lightroom because that's where I manage my photo library. Today, I'm not going to do this. I'm aware that there's a lot of people out there who want to move away from Adobe and don't want to manage their photos in Lightroom. Alien Skin's exposure software provides a very good alternative if you're considering a move like this. Currently on screen, I have a set of images I shot at the weekend. I've already marked the one I want to process by giving it a 3 star rating and creating a flag in the corner. This also marks the image to include it in the Smart Collection I've created. I'm going to click on the Smart Collection so you can see the images that have been selected for editing. If you double click the Smart Collection you can see the criteria I'm using for this selection. Here it says that the image must have at least three stars, it must have been captured in 2018, and that it's been flagged for editing using this inclusion flag. What this allows me to do is search through all my images, flagging them with star ratings, and then the ones I want to edit, I can apply this flag to. These then all appear in this smart collection, and I can work my way through editing each one of them. Once an image has been edited, I can then move it to the completed collection. This makes it really easy to sort through all the images and know which ones I still need to work on. To edit an image, I double click the thumbnail. You can now see the first layer has been created in the layers window. I'm going to use this first layer to perform basic corrections to the image. What I'm not going to do is apply any special effects to this layer. I'll start by adjusting the controls in the basics panel. and then the detail panel to apply capture sharpening. I can now see there's about a stop difference between the top part of the image and the reflection. Although reflections are always darker, I want to balance this image just a little bit better. Because I'm going to be making adjustments to part of the image, I'm going to apply a new layer to do this. I'm then going to add a graduated selection to select the top part of the image. Each time I add a new layer, the adjustments are reset for that layer. Now I can apply adjustments to darken the top part of the image to balance the exposure across the entire photo. If I want to adjust the colour of the image, I can click the base layer and change the colour in the temperature slider. I can also rename my layers by clicking on the name. Now that I've corrected my image, I can apply other adjustments to it. I'm going to start by creating a new layer. 
and to this I'm going to apply the presets. The preset I'm going to use is this Fuji Velvia 100F, which is a simulation of the old Fuji Velvia slide film. After this, I'm also going to tweak the saturation layer because I want the shadow areas to appear more saturated than they are. I can do this in the colour section where I actually have the ability to increase saturation in the shadows. I can also reduce saturation in the midtones and also in the highlights. This helps keep the image looking quite natural. Finally, I'm going to apply a vignette to the image. And I'm going to apply the center of the vignette to this location around the tree. What I've done here is applied all my creative adjustments onto a single layer. The other layers have got my basic corrections and you can turn different layers on and off. You can also see the difference this has made to the image using the before button. I'm now happy with that editing, so I'm going to double click the image again. This closes it and shows me the thumbnail view. I'm going to add this now to the completed collection of edited images. And I'm going to remove the flag, and that removes it from this collection. If I go back to my folders, you can see that I'm still in the three stars to be edited smart collection. The image is gone. If I look at the edited collection, you can see the finished adjusted image there. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please click the like button below and don't forget to share it with others. I'm Robin Worley. You've been watching Lenscraft. I'll see you next week for another video.